Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Jesper van Wamerkens, and today I will talk about one of the new runes for Season 8 of League of Legends, Dominion Dematerializer. It's a rune that has been used quite a lot in the Korean League, the League of Legends Champions Korea, and I personally think that it has many creative usages. When you start the game, you are given 6 minion dematerializers, which you can use to execute a melee, caster, or seize minion. Note it begins on a 155 second cooldown. On top of the added gold and experience you gain when executing a minion, you also gain 4% increased damage to that type of minion permanently. If you use a dematerializer on the same type of minion, you then gain another 1% extra increased damage to that type of minion. This means that you can ultimately gain 9% increased damage to a certain type of minion if all 6 dematerializers are used on the same type of minion. Well, we've seen many Korean teams use the minion dematerializer in order to gain push priority to control the minions when counted in terms of pushing power in a lane or to push in constantly. Usually used alongside the Unsealed Spellbook, these two runes allows you to push in, base and teleport back and continue to push in against your enemy. In this game, Faker has to push priority in the mid lane, which means that Grace will constantly be pushed under his tower. Grace has been clever enough to pick both the Unsealed Spellbook, which means that he will have a lower summoner spell cooldown, which can ultimately be uh, useful if he wants to flash hold in the late game, but will also allow him to pick teleport to get back to the lane. On top of this, Grace has also picked the minion dematerializer. This means that Grace can neutralize any push coming from Faker and push Faker in very fast whenever Faker decides to base. This means Wolf will have a harder time playing off of the pressure that Faker builds in the mid lane. In this clip, you can see how Wraith has picked a minion dematerializer and Teddy has the Unsealed Spellbook and is playing Sivir. Sivir is a natural pusher and alongside the dematerializer that Wraith has, the Jinnia Green Wings bottom lane are able to push Bang and Effort in. This hurts Bang a lot as he is a Kleptomancy Ezreal which relies on being able to proc the Kleptomancy on champions. On top of taking away the extra income from Bang's rune, he will also lose farm under the tower because of Ezreal not being the best at farming under a tower. Because of them pushing in constantly, Jin Air Green Wings open up the map, which will ultimately allow Umti more freedom to choose his fights, and Jin Air can even take a Drake if they want to. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and find me on Twitter. Have an idea about a video I should make? Leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that I'll see you next time.